What do you say there, world? Welcome to another amazing episode of the Racers Recap. It is going to be a good one today. Grab your popcorn, because I got with me one hell of a team. I got Dr. Maya Warren, who is killing it in the ice cream game. I am so jealous. How are you? I'm great. It's so good to be back. I missed last week, so definitely great to be here. Hey, 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 everyone. Yeah. And I got uh, one of the most diverse guests we've ever had on the show. She's been a contestant. She's been a coordinator. She's been casting, not just for Amazing Race, but also for Survivor. And now she's got her own reality TV show company. And here she is, Jody. I always mess up your last name. Is it Wincheski? Perfect. Perfect. All right. <laughs> cool. Right. Hi. How are you? I'm well, and I'm going to turn off this uh, beeping. Sorry. That's okay. You're a busy woman. Okay. We totally understand. You know, the one who's the least busy is the one who's not here, Joey, who will be joining us <laughs> with the lame excuse. But he's always late. He's always late. <laughs> always. I, it's like, I mean, come on. You're, you're a police officer. Like, you should be, like, prompt. You should be on time. It's one of those jobs. But his his excuse is his son is still not done with his schoolwork. And my, my is is like 7 o'clock on a Sunday. Like, your son should be done with his schoolwork on Friday, Dad. Get that shit done. No. <laughs> so you are out in Cali, Cali playing beach volleyball. Yep. It's lovely out here. Can't complain. That's what we love to did hear. You, did you did you feel the did you feel the earthquake on Saturday? Sunday totally. Friday, Saturday? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> It was, yeah, I was like, what the heck is going on? Like, Literally, I was like, what is this? <laughs> I know, people moving furniture, like things are crazy, and I'm like, oh, another earthquake. Oh, yeah, earthquake. Oh, yeah, California. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we got uh, Apple Slipper, Mark Peters, Lucille, Tom, Tim. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate you being here for like that notification squad here on time. You're here way before our co-host who should be down here somewhere, but he's not. Um, so what I need you to do now is spread the word, hit the like button or, um, you know, tweet about it. Go up in the Amazing Race fan page and say, hey, get your ass in here, because this is going to be a good one. Um, Jody is not one to uh, bite her tongue, so uh, we're going to have some fun with Jody today. And as always, <laughs> if there's anything that you ever feel uncomfortable with, say, hey, Justin, shut your chat. Shut your yap. I'm not ready for that. And we're, <laughs> we're totally all right with that. But a lot of got a lot of questions from Facebook, a lot of questions from Reddit, and... Uh, We'll get to we'll get to all of those, uh, and we'll save your company for when uh, talking about that for when we have the most people here, so you can get the most bang for your buck live. Granted, ninety five percent of the people that actually watch the show watch it after it's live, so it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> people don't like uh, messing with their Super Bowl. I mean, their Super Bowl, their football Sunday sometimes, but and you know, <laughs> Sunday is a huge day for television. Not really too much nowadays, but it's a big day for TV. Heard there was an earthquake in California on the news. Oh yeah, Apple Slipper, where are you again? You you're like Australia or something? Somewhere? Somewhere over. All right. So we're here and uh Joey's not, so we can make fun of him. But um so casting, who are some of the people that you are responsible for for presenting to the people who make the selections? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, I, I guess some of the favorites probably Will Hayden Moss. Um he was my first person your first <laughs> yeah I, I mean he was in the whole survivor realm and then ended up on big brother and winning that and then coming back over to survivor as well so pretty cool that's awesome um, yeah um well joe and sierra now they're married to each other so that was fun. oh that's awesome i didn't know you got both of them yeah that's that pretty cool fun. joe was actually one of the people i had 30 people at my wedding and joe was one of them yeah. he there i've never met like somebody who could be in a room and the energy that he just gives off calms everybody down. Like he is yeah. such a calming force and you don't understand it unless you're around him. True. Yeah. Absolutely love Joe. Yeah. He's a good dude and they're a great couple. So. Oh yeah. That's they, fun and exciting. Yeah. They look beautiful uh, together. Recently, I guess the more recent winners were Tommy, um, Chris Underwood. Nice. Right up there. Um, I don't look at it. You have to look at a list. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many. There's so many. There's so many. I love it. I love it. I love yeah, it. I think Brenda. Brenda, I wish she would come back more because I really love her. Um, let's see. Chase, hmm. Chase Rice. He's kind of a big deal now. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. So, 
Uh, is there anybody that you really, really wanted to cast and you thought that they were going to make it and they just didn't make it and it, you kind of always have them back here waiting to push them back always. in? Yeah. I had a bunch of people that I loved um, for Survivor. Uh, some of them were coming through the Survivor process or somehow I found them through that. And a lot of them ended up, I put them on Spy Games. Really? Yeah, it was a brand new Interesting. Show that was out. Yeah, and um, it it was cool. And a lot of those people, I'm like, these are great people. And for some reason, I couldn't get them by somebody. Mm-hmm. You know? And uh, <laughs> and so then, you know, I had these people on Spy Games, and they all just were boom, 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 boom. Let's take them all. So That's that was kind of fun. Interesting. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So, like, the casting world out there, you, you get to cast for a bunch of different shows, and it's a, people are okay with that. Like, it's not like you're yeah. sniping people from different shows. It's like... No, I mean, well, they're, they're just people I found. I mean, if they're in, like, the survivor pool, I mean, I guess if they're done, like, they say, no, you know, they're not going to make it, they're done, then, then, you know, why not use them for something? Right? Yeah. Like, if I think Right. Great. And the next network thinks they're great. Um, but, yeah. So... You know, you kind of, but as you kind of collect people from all over, like you're, you mean know, this might be a better fit for this show or that show, and you can kind of see that along the way. Right, and there's one thing that I would I want to get out there. You don't have to comment on it if you don't want to, uh, yeah. but there's a lot of uh, people who are on the like the Amazing Race Facebook page or the Amazing Race fans Facebook page that um, don't like people who get recruited. And the main reason they don't like people who get recruited as a people to who apply is because they think those people are taking their slots. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say this, and you can, you can comment on it if you'd like. Um, the reason you're not getting cast is you're not good enough. And the reason that they go and they go and they get people is because they don't get what they want from all of the tapes that come in. And as a, somebody who's actually gotten a lot of submissions that people are like, oh, can you review my video and let me know what the things I'm doing wrong. I'm like, just make sure you really want to know because I have to be honest with you. Like some people send me their videos and I'm like, there's a 0% chance you'll ever get cast. You'll never make it. Yeah. And, and it's so hard to say to somebody. Yeah. Is there people yeah. like that, that, that come across like that you you could be honest with them? Like, like, mm, or... yeah. I mean, I like point out what they're up against. Right. right? So like with, with, well, we'll get to the new company, but with yeah. it, basically, I'm going to help people make their best possible video. Right. Right? So bring out your best things, and you'll know that you've laid it all out there. You've got your very best possible video. You know it's good. Somebody that's, you know, I was in casting for 22 years, or 22 seasons, so 11 years. So I know what's good, oh. and, and I can get you to where you're the very best. And then if you don't get called from that, you're probably not getting called. Right. Yeah. Right. Maybe, right. maybe it's just you. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, but I will tell them, look, this is what you're up against. You know, in this category, it usually goes to somebody with a, you know, big giant personality who's an over the top character who's got a big accent. And, you know, you just know like this that they like pop on camera. Right. And they will get that spot. And you're, you're going for that same thing. So what is it you're bringing to the table right. that's going to mm-hmm. like, set you apart and if there's just nothing there i mean if it's just vanilla and it's just bland or all you're doing is talking about how you're going to look for idols or you're going you know yeah like things on the show or even with you know with race it's like oh well i'm gonna drive and she's gonna do heist and you know all you're doing is talking about the show like what are you bringing to the table and i think it's so hard like it's a three minute video and i'm like if you can't talk about yourself or you can't like express something entertaining in three minutes how the hell do you think you're gonna do it for 13 episodes <laughs> <laughs> i think well, you know what people don't get is you're the storyteller like yeah the, the cast tells the story and if you cannot tell a story or you talk really flat you know or something you're not gonna get cast mm-hmm. because it's not based on how bad you want yeah and that trust not me. Not at all. Trust me. Yeah. Twenty seven seasons, how bad I wanted it. And the only reason <laughs> the only reason they've noticed me is because I forced it to happen. It was a viral video that was the most popular amazing race viral video ever. So yes, that you have to pay attention. You didn't have to cast me, but you had to put me into the process and then see if I was good enough. And right. yeah. and to be honest, Lynn Lynn Spillman's not there anymore, and I don't know how 
mean Jesse is, but Lynn made Diana <laughs> Diana cry in the first interview. Like Diana was crying because Lynn is just like she's like, you better you better start talking. I'm just gonna take him and put him on Survivor, and you're just gonna go home. And my wife was like. <laughs> it's like, like she thought she was gonna ruin this. Like, I was like, babe, stop, stop being like, just be you. Like, there's nothing you can't do any worse than you just did. So the next time we go in there, <laughs> just do it. And then, and she just blossomed at that point. So that's so funny. So like, you have so to. I have, a, I have yeah. a question. I have a question. Um, so so pre pre even sending in a tape. So Amy and I did an open open casting call. Like people ask me about those and I'm like, I don't know. Like Amy and I were super random. Like we just were like, oh yeah, let's go to an open casting call in Chicago and let's see. I know that there's, you know, COVID right now. So I'm assuming those casting calls aren't really happening, but for people, or maybe they are, I have no clue. But for people who want to do open calls and things like that. Hi, Charlie. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> watch the mic justin watch the mic <laughs> no more of those errors i got physical stuff now <laughs> um i i did the same thing i would do open call that's how yeah, i got to so like, mm -hmm. do, you, do you know like what is, do you think it's better for people to do open calls do you think that there's some people that thrive in open calls versus doing the three four minute videos like like i don't know like it, just just your background in that well i would say if you can do your own video, do your own video. Because if you go to an open call, you have one minute. Yes. Yeah, and it's super short. You just do it. And the reason that we have them is for people that can't shoot their own videos or that, you know, they don't take the time to do it. So you've got one minute and if you blow it, there is no second chance, right? Um, mm -hmm. we, we wa they, you know, we watched all the open calls and we watched all the videos. Um, and you have to stand out pretty quick. So you can do it in a minute, but chances are you're going to have to make your own video anyway. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, yeah, we had to do that in the get that information in it. So, like, mm -hmm. you guys have such a personality, you and Amy. Like, you guys had this, like, really wholesome, sweet, genuine, Super happy. Super unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, there's not many teams that are like that. There's always, like, the people who want to stand out for being the sabotages or, like, I'm going to, you know, whatever. Those are, And you guys were just coming in, like, all happy and, like, and so there was, like, I think a lot less people like you guys to compete with. We sat in the damn open call in a casino and we're sitting there like this for hours waiting in line. And you're like, you got one minute. What are we going to say for one minute? And, and then you're like rehearsing for hours and then you get on camera and it sounds so freaking rehearsed. They're like, it's like, Neh. you know, and then yeah. afterwards we're like, it's so rehearsed. That wasn't even us. Yeah. yeah. Rehearsing is never good. Yeah. It, it yeah. stinks. It you have to be authentically you. Yeah. And you yeah. know, some people are better at that than others. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and often, like, there's the reason I even started the whole thing is because people don't know how to make a video. Like, <laughs> they don't know what to put in it. Yeah. They don't have any clue. Mm -hmm. And you can't blame them. There's nothing innate in us that says, I think I should say this on a video. Like, right. they don't. Know. Yeah. So let, let's yeah. tell everybody about your company. So, because we've been talking about it. So let's tell everybody about your company and then we can just kind of get into it. Okay. So I, I started a company called Casting Realities that basically helps people do audition submissions. And it can be for whatever show, because I've worked on lots of different things. Um, pretty much TV is always looking for the same thing. And then you tailor it a little bit towards that specific show. Um, but I, I was getting like five, at least five a day of people who are like, mm -hmm. hey, can you look at my video? Hey, can you tell me what's wrong with it? Can you just give me a little review? Do you have a few minutes? But it doesn't take a few minutes. Right. It's a lot, you know, it, it's not easy. You go through piece by piece, and you look at every single thing, and then you figure out what should be kept and what could be taken out and what they're missing and usually more often than not you're missing content like you're not saying yeah. actual facts and that's you know like real information so that when i'm done what do i remember about it? Mm -hmm. um, there's a link in chat if you guys want to check out the website sorry go ahead. oh yeah thanks and it's so it's not like a quick process and i'm like man five people a day that i mean they were driving me crazy because yeah. I, wasn't, I wasn't on survivor like i was done you know, I was yeah. <laughs> hard. I'm like, hey, I'm like off right now. <laughs> I can't do this every day for all these people, you know. Um, and so then with COVID and everything else, it just kind of seemed like a time where it was like, you know, maybe I should start a business helping people do that. And so you just you just started. Yeah, I think it's been um, since what, mid August. Yeah. 
awesome. She reached out, and I, awesome. I and I definitely wanted to have her on the show, and I wanted to make sure that she had the company going and everything was up and rolling, and we yeah. can you know hopefully give give some love. Like I always love supporting fellow amazing racers uh, in, in their endeavors, and I'm glad that we can help you. And looking at some links on uh, on your website, there's like Survivor, Love Island, Tough as Nails, Amazing Race, Big Brother, Bachelor, Baking, make Baking Show, Ellen's Game, a thousand, a hundred thousand dollar pyramid, Shark Tank, making the band nail. I mean, you got all of this stuff up there. Everything, all um, of them. <laughs> American Ninja Warrior, like <laughs> some of it's me and some of it's Ally. So, like, I started the company, but then I brought in Allie, too, because she has, um, like, different experiences, mm -hmm. right? She was doing a lot of MTV shows, and so then we could go the MTV route as well. But so we had a lot of choices of, like, things we've actually worked on. What exactly do those executives want? You know, That's so like, cool. And the circle is actually one that I was yeah. thinking about applying for. Like, the circle looks really cool. I love the UK <laughs> version of it, uh, the, the Brazilian version. Like, I think that's a really cool concept. Um and you know it's you don't have to get stuck on an island for 39 days suffering you're in a house and you get to you know <laughs> kind of have some fun with that <laughs> yeah. so do you have any i've you know pretty much seen all of them because i always check out everything new in the reality world see how the casting's going see what you know what it's all about so yeah what did you think of tough as nails i loved it i, I really was did so too happy it was a cool show. It. oh my god mm -hmm. i loved, oh, it. I loved it. it i think the casting was fantastic Yes. They did a really good job. Yeah, they had mm -hmm. such great characters, and they were mm -hmm. all so likable. And then they and they worked so hard, and like they gave you mm -hmm. all the you know, like just watching. You're like, oh, you know. Um, I thought it yeah. was super happy for Phil. And, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Team, I know they were using a lot of people that have worked on Race and Survivor and the crew. Good. That's really cool. Yeah, I didn't... it was it was great. Yeah, it was it was really cool to see like jobs like i would have never guessed that they would have put someone from the airline like like the person i forget her name but the the lady who did like the air she worked for an airline like i never thought of that as being like a tough job but thinking about it like she's like splinging like 50 pound bag you know what i mean 50 yeah. plus pound bags all the time and you know just the diversity that they brought in with within that whole that whole crew that whole uh, cast of characters um i definitely like it but i will admit like first watching it i couldn't get phil's voice out of my head from amazing race like it was just so like ah it was just so weird in the beginning um but definitely liked it and it, it came at a great time to be able to celebrate um hard-working people during this tough time of covid too so and i think show. i think the baggage lady was one of the older ladies of michelle is who you're talking yeah, about yeah she was yeah, yeah 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 she definitely was Would yeah she was tough. I mean, you would think, like, mm -hmm. looking at the older people, they'll go out early. But both of the older people they had in there were really tough. And I think one of the smartest, yeah. smartest things that they did on that show was keep everybody there for, for like the team thing. Instead of sending somebody Yay. home and getting rid of like favorites, they were there the whole episode, the whole season. And you knew mm -hmm. you were going to have this great cast for a whole season. Where like some shows like Survivor and Amazing Race, the best character sometimes gets voted out first or second. You're like, damn, that would have been such a great. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Totally. I, I love that part of it. It was really nice to have the team challenge and the individual challenge. They did a great job. Mm -hmm. So one of the questions in chat from LQP, um, when you were working on Survivor and Amazing Race, how many submissions do, did you usually get per season or per year for those type of shows? I know they used to be you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, but now I'm sure with the diversity of the reality TV world, it's less. Yeah, um, there's still a lot of submissions. It's hard to really say because uh, some people reply year after year after year. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, um, there's always <laughs> so many to go through. And, like, you don't ever, we don't really run out, you know. Um, and so casting people are assigned to different regions. And then so you're responsible for watching all the videos in your region. And so you just keep going. Got you. Them. And you see those as well. And then now we've added Canada. So, I mean, there's there's quite a few videos in there, but they're not all, you know, there's certain categories will run out. It mm. makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So you get regions and you get specific categories. Like, well, I mean, we could see it through the casting process that, like, uh, we called them the Ken and Barbie teams, which was, you know, Joey, Kelsey and Joey, who eventually won our season. There was two other teams that were very similar looking to them, you know, like the you know, Ken and Barbie looking people and you you just knew like one was, one was gone and next one was gone and you knew, okay, that's the Ken and Barbie team. Who are we up against? We're up against, you know, so like 
when they cast a show, do they say, hey, we, we're looking specifically for this type of team? We want like an older pair of, you know, siblings or family members or. It used to be that way more. Um, now, not so much. Now, What's up, Joe? They want to get the areas. You, right. know, you want to be representative as much as you can, of like all over the U.S. And then you try mm -hmm. to get, you know, all different ethnicities and you try to get men. Mm -hmm. Like you want to like diversify as much as you can. But they don't necessarily say, we want an older couple that does this. Gotcha. Or, no. Right. Because you can have any, any, I mean, you know, you don't have to have a room fit into a hole in one. Yeah, it's hard to represent. It's hard to represent all of America with 11 teams or, you know, 13 teams. And then you're trying to get the diversity and you need somebody to represent the South, somebody to represent East Coast, West Coast. You know, somebody's hardworking, somebody's blue collar, white collar. Like, you, there's so much going on in the back of the heads of, of casting people. But then, but then, but then there's like that, like, hidden thing of like, kind of how I think Amy and I were. We were such an unexpected individual. So, like, people didn't know ice cream and candy science has existed. So I'm sure that casting finds like those little nuggets of people. Not that I'm saying Amy and I were nuggets, but we know we were very unique. Um, that you find those and you're like, oh, like somehow we have to fit them in. Like some yeah. way, somehow like they can be fit in. So I think that's probably one of the really cool things about like what you do is like finding those gems. Finding those gems. <laughs> Fantastic when you get something, you're like, ooh, look what, you know, look at this. Yeah. Ooh, this is new. Because, like, after so many seasons of both of those shows, it's hard to have <laughs> it, right? So if you get something that's new and different and their personalities are awesome and they banter back and forth really well and it's just a really great team, it doesn't matter what they do, you know, because yeah. you can just move the other teams around. Right. And then you got to fill quotas and, and cast people like Joey. Like, we need a Boston cop or a fireman or something. <laughs> What's up, Joey? How you Joey! doing? What's happening, everybody? Sorry I'm late. Long time no see. <laughs> I know. Where have you been? Well, we missed like three episodes because of someone. Not to name who, but someone. And then last That's... week, I had a family Zoom call. Yeah. A lot of guests. Um, I fucked up a couple weeks in a row because uh, some guests I thought were good to go. And then like, you know, they'll hit me up on Saturday and be like, nah, I can't make it. And I'm like, can you come? Can you come? Can you come? Can you come? And then I'm like, <laughs> like no, 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 no. And then somebody's like, yeah, I maybe can make it. And then I'm like, cool, I'll put them up. And then they're like, yeah. And I'm like, fuck, we're just canceling the show. Just like, last week's was insane. Right. There's, there's nothing open. Right? Yeah. But it's like, yeah, I know Ber <laughs> right. Bertram is so like, I guess Bertram is really secretive about it. A lot of the cast, a lot of the crew from Amazing Race is like, you know, Bertram is very protective of his baby. We were kind of, yeah. we want to come on the show, but we're not sure if we can. And I'm like, I listen, I would never do anything to mess up the relationship with the Amazing Race. I love the Amazing Race. But, you know, there's questions that people want to ask. And I feel I should ask them, you know, like, how do you come up with how difficult the tasks are? Like, you know, is there five? You have to get five of these. You get to get 10 of these. Like, what do you do? Did you find it on a TV show? Like, those are the type of things. And I think they're like kind of harmless to ask and how they find these tasks and the people involved. And it's just simple things like that. But I totally get it. Like, we've had camera guys on. We've had sound guys on. Um, Matt and Pat. Pat said he was going to come on like three, four times already. Darren said he was going to come on. He was just waiting for like a okay from Bertram. And Bertram is like, yeah, I don't know. So, and Phil just never gets back to me. Thanks, Phil. Appreciate that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I totally understand. Is uh, there is, is there like, I, I guess there is an NDA that you guys have to sign, right? There is, yeah. So there's certain things you can't talk about, like production type things you can't talk about. But as far as like coming up with challenges, there's like a team, you know, there's challenge teams. Is it a team that tests it as well? Or is it the same group? They test, they, on, on Amazing Race, they test their guys. Bertram and Elise test a lot of the challenges. I, I remember uh, security saying that they tested challenges too. Uh, <laughs> so like the security team, Bertram, they just throw anybody who's around on the challenges and see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, see where they're at. And if they should make them longer, harder, easier, whatever, they're safe enough. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a story from our season um, when uh, a couple of teams who got eliminated late in the game don't go to like sequester. They kind of keep going mm -hmm. along and they tested like the final challenges and uh, mm -hmm. they adjusted the final challenges depending on how long it took all of the teams to do it. 
And I, right. I found that really interesting. It was like, you know, I guess you have a set amount of time that you can have each location. So I understand like we, we can only use this location for so long. So we got to get this done by then. So I found that really interesting. And, uh, and I didn't know that until, you know, uh, one of my cast members told me like, dude, we, we did that challenge the other day and it was like 15 flags with uh, five flake fake ones. And it ended up being 10 fa- flags with two fake ones. And I was like, oh, wow. Like, dang, I wish it was the harder one. Cause <laughs> we studied we studied hard <laughs> <laughs> that happened on our season too and when we when we crossed the finish line um i think it was kim and kim and ally and tj and tim and sorry tim and tj and someone else some other team told us they were like yeah we knew you and amy would win because we did the challenge the day before and we were like they're going to win because it was a memory chat like it just it just wow. as long as they didn't get eliminated they were going to win so kind of wild uh but yeah it, it happens i mean someone has to test them but there's a question in here um tim says i'm curious to know who tested the infamous watermelon challenge <laughs> <laughs> i don't know but they obviously didn't let it hit him back in the face right, right. <laughs> that's yeah. like painful to even watch oh my god it's so it is painful. the best clip to ever come from the amazing race it yeah. is just it just shows how tough women are Cause I would have quit. Like <laughs> I just broke my face, and that and you crying is the best two two ever. Listen, I wear my heart <laughs> on my sleeve. I cry. For, I cry when I'm happy. I cry when I'm sad. I cry when I'm mad. I don't care. I let it out. Let it out, Joey. <laughs> How's uh, everything in Boston? You doing all right, brother? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, hi, Jody. Very good hi, to see how you are again. you? It's been awesome, a minute. thank you. Um, you going to Hot's Reality this year? I am. Awesome. Justin always says he's gonna, but he never does. True. I want to go every year, but the wife is like, I know, now I don't get to can do you, it. Can you guys just, just for like a, a weekend? Like just, just a weekend. You know, you can hang out with me and Jody and Maya, because Maya's going this year too. Oh, I am? When is it? I don't even know when it is. It's in person? Yeah, December. December? It's in person? In Florida? In Florida. Yeah. In GM Studios. No, listen. I appreciate. I don't get on planes right now, guys. Oh, come I, spe- on. I don't. I mean, especially cross. Florida, though. I mean, Florida's <laughs> full of just dumb people doing dumb things. That's why it's in Florida. You know, I mean, this is just a lot of dumb people. There's a reason that there's a whole Reddit like community called Florida Man. Like, there's a reason that 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 because they just do dumb things down there. I told you, I don't know what Reddit is, so I don't believe it exists. <laughs> you don't Joey. know. What a lot of, you don't know what a lot of things are, Joey. All right, so if somebody wants to get on a, on a reality TV show and they want your help, what do they do? They can just go to the website. There's different options depending on if they've made a tape before, if they're starting completely from scratch, like, you know, where, what they need help with. But it's um, castingreality.net. Yep. And then there's different, you know, packages. And they'll help them from there. But it just kind of depends on where they're starting. And uh, aren't you still doing those experiences? You, you mean to talk to the, you know what, I need to do that again. Um, I think it's something, I need to figure it out mm-hmm. a little bit because I think it's something that kind of appeals to a younger, like a really young group. Gotcha. What, what is it? Can, can you explain? I don't, I don't know what the experience is. Yeah, so when I first came out, like I just kind of announced the business. I had like Hayden Moss and Rachel Riley and like you could just uh, do Skype calls with them. Oh, and cool. Okay one-on-one Skype calls for 20 minutes at a time and I you know I just kind of set that up and I think it's something that like I like I said I think it's a younger like you know the people in their 20s and stuff are kind of more into that so um like I you know I think like Jay Barrett would be great for him, you know because he's mm-hmm, an mm-hmm. Stuff now and survivor and um, mm-hmm. but you know we'll we'll see I mean I'm if maybe that's something you can find out for me like who does who do people want to talk to because if they want to have one-on-one conversations, you know, I can set that up. No problem. Yeah. I mean, I of, of course, people get more vested in Survivors and Big Brothers because those shows are more about the people and the individuals. Whereas Amazing yeah. Race, a lot of times, you don't even remember the team's names. You just be like, oh, those are the Globetrotters. I don't even know their name. The Cowboys. I don't remember. It. Whatever. They're just like identified as this this thing. And it's a lot of travel porn. And some people don't care about the contestants. They love the the, the travel and the... The, the tasks or whatever. So it's a little less, but there are obviously a lot of uh, amazing races that people want to talk to. Like, yeah. 
you know, if there was like a, a, a throwing booth where people could like hit me with a pie, that would probably be really like good. Like talking to me, people probably don't want to talk. Hitting me, I think a lot of people would do that. Like they would like, you're an asshole. For some reason. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I, I, I make it different. Like, I get reached out to quite a bit. And now that I know that you're doing this, Jody, like, I will definitely, hopefully I, I don't flood your inbox. But, I mean, I get reached out to all the time, like, Same. asking, how did you get on The Amazing Race? Because, I, you know, a lot of people, I'm, I don't know if I'm normal, but I was a student when I did it. And that kind of normalized me. And so it's like, hey, like, how do we're, we're students? Like, how do we get on the amazing race? Or, you know, like, should I keep continue to send in tapes? I'm like, I don't know. I did an open casting call in the middle of Chicago. Like, I have no clue. <laughs> so, but now that I know that you're doing this, like, I, if you don't mind, like, I hope that you're okay with us sending people Absolutely. your way, yeah. you know, this business. That's um, why she's here. But I think, I think no, but I think that people, I mean, I don't know like what stage people need to be at, so I don't like want to waste, waste anyone's time. Um, but can, I also think that people are enjoy talking to people in general. Sorry? Yeah, they can be in like, this is something I've always wanted to do, and I've just never not known how to go about it. They can be Great. There. Okay. Well, awesome. Be, I've made like a bunch of tapes, and I don't know why no one's ever helped me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've, I've actually helped a couple of people, and they, they got to the... Um, the finals week a few times they inbox me and say oh, what you do and awesome. I, I like reviewing people's tapes because yeah. yeah I show the video it's like oh that's great you want to do a fake grandma that's good. we don't care about that and then uh, <laughs> I think these two brothers they might have they might have actually they've been very quiet about it but they disappeared for a little while so <laughs> I I yeah. definitely have become like the per uh, a person that people go to when they get called. They, they they got that first mm. call back. I get a lot of people. I know. They're not yeah. supposed to. It's the same thing. They're not supposed to do that. But they call me. They're like, oh, my God. What do I do now? I'm like, just just relax. Like, Continue you know, to be yourself. Just be yourself. You, something you did got you to this point. Now, don't try to do something that you're not. Don't be fake because they'll see fake in a second. They will take the fake and rip it right out with your soul. And you'll be sitting there like, oh. Like, because I, I just remember Lynn. Lynn was just brutal. Like she didn't care. She, oh my God! She, Lynn she, was so nice to us. But you guys were so sweet. I know that's kind of yeah. She was. I don't know, yeah. Is anyone ever not nice to you though, Maya? Seriously. Huh? Is anyone ever not nice to you? You have like the smile. You're always happy. Make ice cream. Yeah, Nice to us. Did you see uh, rest in peace, Jim? But Misty and Jim, like, he doesn't really? count. Like, he, doesn't, he doesn't count. Misty's nice. Yeah. Well, I, that's one person I did want to go up against in All Stars because I wanted to. Oh, damn, I wish. Yeah. Well, let's Jim. just do weekend at Bernie's with him then. Stop it. <laughs> Joey, oh it's so inappropriate. <laughs> Such a dick. I'm diagnosed now. Uh, diagnosed now, so I can do it. It's okay. Uh, uh, we love you, Joey. Did you cast Natalie and Nadia? I cast no. I just see pictures with you guys, and that's all. I was on your website. That was just like because both Allie and I are in that photo. Yeah. And so I was just looking for something with both of us. I did get to go on vacation with Nadia. That's for cool. Like six weeks, you know, when she was home in two. We had the best time. We were oh my! Three. So you were you were I don't I don't know what the the coordinator for sequester. Or... Yeah. So I did both shows before both Survivor and Amazing Race. Uh, various times I would deal like with all the crew that gets eliminated. Can Can you talk a little mm -hmm. bit about that, or is that like hidden? I don't think it is. Um, I mean, we've talked about it, like you know, in our season, we know that you know it was Spain, and you guys went to like museums and things like that. So you stay in like a nice villa, like an Airbnb or something like that. Like, uh, is it this? What is it like for like Survivor? It's a separate island. Is it the same island the crew stays on? I mean, actually, you guys, they film Survivors, right? Yeah, so, sir, well, no. The Ponderosa, don't they? Yeah, so the first, like, uh, six to nine, depending on the season, that are voted out, they are not at Ponderosa. So they have to go somewhere else until they can all go home. And then the others are at Ponderosa, and that does it. So, and it used to be back when I did it that you would get to, it was great. You would get to go to like a neighboring country and like travel through the country. Wow. Well, kind of occupied and not home. And um, until they got to go home, right? 
Um, now they, they're kind of going to a specific location and staying there for Survivor, which is what Race did pretty much all the time. They would pick one city and stay, but then you get to travel around and do things in that city. But I always thought mm -hmm. it was kind of funny because the travelers are the racers, right? They're the ones that would want to explore a city, like a country. And survivors are 50-50 on that. Some of them are just not really big travelers. That's so funny. Oh, interesting. Like, interesting. Yeah. Like You're... Tony. Tony's scared to death of airplanes. <laughs> I, like, love, I love Tony. Wow. Tony <clears throat> wanted me to go on because he didn't want to get on an airplane. That's and crazy. Wow. I'm sure he's glad he did now. <laughs> like, I, I had him in Vietnam, and we were all, we had, I don't know how many flights we had to Oh, man. But nobody mentioned that he didn't like airplanes until the trip was planned. So. That's, that's interesting. I, I, he's one of the most uh, character, the, one of the characters that I can kind of relate to the most on Survivor. Like, if I, if I, I if I dropped on Survivor Island, that's the type of game that I feel like I'd play. I'd always be trying to do something different, whether it's the spy shack. Like, you know how much how much research I've done into listening tunnels? Like, they used to have these listening tunnels in the wars and how they built these tunnels that they could talk to just right through the ground and you could talk to somebody that's far away. I've 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 been researching these listening tunnels because I want to build the listening tunnels to the to the camp and to the well and just have those things there that I could just go and lay and just listening to these listening tunnels. And I'm like, hmm. That would be interesting if I could get on the show and do something like that. And then this dude is building, like, the, the tree shacks, the shack, and the underground. I'm like, I love that type of stuff. Uh, what type of uh, uh, strategies have you heard from, like, people who are trying to get on the shows? What type of ridiculous type of stuff did they try to, like, pitch maybe to try to get on the show? Is there anything like that? Or she's... I was oh, like, she's frozen. I was like, damn, is it that bad of a question? <laughs> she's just like, <laughs> Jody. At least it's a good photo. Like, Jody. Yeah, she's 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 smiling. Jody's gorgeous. Oh my god, Jody. she and I told her she's like aging backwards. She looks like yeah, I know, younger right? now than she did when she was on the show. Maybe because she, she was looks more like her daughter right now. Oh no, she left. And she's she's got really six pack on. abs. It's like she's ripped. Beach volleyball. Yeah, I'm little. I'm definitely <laughs> jealous about that. Joey, Joey, uh, you all right, brother? Yeah, yes. Long. Uh, I'm doing a lawn project the past week and a half. So mm, good it's time. so dark I, there. It's seven forty. Wow. Yeah. It, uh, and I live in a. I live in a very uh, kind of a suburban neighborhood. Mm, so you're like nice. woodsy out there. Yes. Yeah, I got about an, an acre of land, and I, I'm doing the whole lawn completely over myself by hand. Wow! Uh, Look at you. When you finish. Oh, <laughs> yes. Post, post them on the gram, yo. Uh, Jody said she'll be back. Her computer just died. Um, oh no! So she's plugging it in and getting back in here. So uh, we could talk about it while she's gone. I mean, she wasn't. Uh, Maya, did you catch last week by chance? No, I need to. I've been like <laughs> super swamped. Sorry. Well, what, what'd you? Well, who was on last week? We grabbed Michael Hamstone and yanked him in. We were only going to be on for about twenty minutes, and it turned into like two hours. Yeah. Like, Are you serious? Was, oh, I should have uh, joined this. Uh, yeah. It was uh, you, swearing yeah. and tomfoolery. And it was. It, 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 it was a shit show. I mean, we needed you here Justin to help. Justin was like, "Oh, we're not going to be back on." Um. Um. Uh, there she is. Yeah. Yay. Her audio's yeah. connected. There she is. Sorry, my computer's doing this cool thing where it's like got 45% battery and then it dies. Is it a Mac? Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Mac does that. I don't understand why. Yeah. I got lots of battery. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Macs suck. I hate Macs. No, Macs are the best. I'm, I, no, I, just, I, bought a, I bought a new desktop. I'm on it right now. It's wonderful. 27 inch sucker. She's beautiful. Yeah, no. This. <laughs> it's all good. You guys, you guys just don't know. Once you go Mac, you never go back, and that's I, true. Statement. I can't imagine going back to PC. You would, you See? would say that, but I got a Mac, and I hate it. And the only reason I still have it is because I have such all this expensive software because they make you buy everything for a Mac. Same thing with an iPhone. I had one iPhone. I will never get another iPhone again. Same. They're terrible. They yeah, make you pay for things. Like guys. it's like. This is free on an Android. Why do I have to pay for this on a Mac? The interface, the interface of an Android is not where it's at. Like, I'm sorry. I can understand like, that. Welcome, welcome, welcome to, welcome to 20. 
Welcome to the future, uh, you mean? Because everything. 2010, basically, with, with Android? Like. Do you realize there's I'm sorry, nothing? Apple copies dated. everything Samsung does. There's not one feature that, that the Apple interface, has done the before. Interface. The Apple has done before Android. And it's they just the, copy it's the, Android. It's the user, it's the user I get that. interface of it. I'm not, I'm it's not talking pretty. about the apps. I'm not talking about the, the you know, swiping. All I, mean, I guess it is the swiping in some ways. But anyways, it's back pretty. to why we're actually here. <laughs> well, I was just giving <laughs> her time to, to get back. Android versus, um, yeah. <laughs> it's a passionate topic. Uh, okay, so um, what other shows have you have you worked on? You did Amazing Race. You've done Survivor. Oh, I've done a lot. Um, some of the fun, most fun ones are like the new ones, um, and that's kind of a fun thing for people because they don't have to go back and watch a million things mm -hmm. and like study it and know every single thing that's ever happened. You know, um, you know, like like Spy Games because it started from an idea and then it became. Mm. I have to watch that. That's a Bravo show. I don't watch anything on Bravo. Yeah, no. It's, it's pretty cool. Well, oh, NBC. Um, Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I mean, I've worked on a lot of stuff with Kinetic um, companies, so they do, like, um... <laughs> what is that? Um, uh, like Married at First Sight and some of those dating shows. They did one that was on an island. Um, honey, married to percent honeymoon island, I think. So they is it Love that. Island? That seems to that's be a new one. Now. Yeah, I keep that's that. popular. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, it looks that's insane. Kind of, yeah, that was huge. I, you know, some different things like that. So I've done everything from dating shows. I did a music show once with Lynn. Um, and sometimes they're like working titles. Right. Like so where they end up with. So. Yeah, like the, so, the, the the Amazing Race had terrible names when it first started. You know, like the. The summer travel adventure or something, whatever it was called. <laughs> yeah, they're just like these secret like names. And sometimes they end up there, but they don't. Yeah. Now, Jody, is it true about the uh, the rumors that even though there was one racer on that they don't like putting amazing racers on Survivor? They don't love it. What? They don't love doing a lot of the cross stuff. They do it, um, and that's totally up to the network if they'll do it. Like, Cassie has zero say. Yeah. Really? Um, so they, I don't know. I think it's, if you're, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I think you should just utilize the, you know, audiences for both. Right. But they don't do it very often. So it's the same thing. Big Brother, Survivor, Amazing Race. Those three, you may get a little bit of carryover. Right. But it's only typically because of a certain type of. Right. 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 Well, they, I, don't let, they don't want to do it. They had the perfect. You can't, you can't do it if you're like on The Bachelor. You're not going to get it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They had the perfect setup when they did. Uh, they brought the Amazing Race versus Big Brother versus Survivor onto the Amazing Race. Why they should have just carried that right over? Did the same thing on Survivor, and then boom, did the same thing on Big Brother. Have like Amazing Races, Big Brother, have them all in the same. I mean, it just seemed like the right thing to do. Yeah, it, you could have cross referenced the fans. Could have, yeah. Because amazing. No, you know, you look at MTV, like the challenge. Jesus. Everybody from other shows, and I mean, they're they're mm -hmm. huge chip and the. Like if you're on that that show, like your social goes crazy. Johnny Bananas has been on the show what nineteen times? I mean, how many times can one person be on one show? He's literally <laughs> like he's been on it like almost every season since it started. Yeah. I, and now, like so many of the Survivor Big Brother Amazing Race people are going on it. Yeah, and you know, and that kind of takes them out somewhat of the running. Although they just put Bailey back on um, Big Brother and she did the job, mm -hmm. so you never know. But MTV is known for you know reusing people from all different networks and all different things, and I think they're picking up a lot of viewers that way. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I haven't watched MTV since, since Road Rules, really, when that was around. I only watched the Challenge because Jay was on it, and and that's the same thing. Like, <laughs> it's a really good show. I only watched the Challenge because Amazing Racers and Big Brothers, and then they were starting to get cast, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I know these people, so I want to watch. Like, you know, we're all like a real family. We know, we all know each other, so I, I want to support. And of it's course, it's really changed. I think it's really changed. Like these last few years, it's way more like challenge and a lot less like just drama. Yeah, everybody um, trying to bang everybody mm -hmm. or fight everybody. That's all yeah. it was about. It's like I'm gonna fight you. Me and Wes are going at it. Yeah, I hate you. It's like come on, you, <laughs> you both love each other, and you know you're just milking the stuff to get your viewers going and get get the social media yelling at each other. I get it. It's a business. Um, 
And now it does seem like it's a lot more about the challenges and the competitions, and their challenges are sick. Yeah. Like, I watched some of their challenges, I was like, oh, you know, you're hanging off the side of a truck and, you know, like, grabbing flags. I mean, they're doing, they're doing some crazy stuff. So blowing things, they blow things up. They have all kinds of stuff. Have you watched the new reality show, The Sequester? Isn't that like an online show, though? The, yeah. se- the Sequester? Because I remember somebody reaching out to me about that, and I'm like, know. do I want to do an online reality show? Like, I was actually on a legit show? No, don't do that. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, isn't it somebody from a reality show that started that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, someone who's an eye like that. Yeah. I mean, I-, I get it. You know, like, you know, I support my friends who, they did Big Sister. Um, which was cool. I mean, they, they, they do it for a weekend, just like Big Brother, and they give people prizes. And they had Corey on, who was on The Amazing Race. And so I watched that type of stuff. Um, let's see. Were you involved in casting returner seasons? And if so, is it tougher casting new player seasons? Or is it tougher to cast returning seasons because of fan backlash, etc.? You're kind of involved, but barely. Because it doesn't, we don't get to play. It's up to the network. So, yes, you see who's who's free and, like, you know, scheduling. We do the background stuff, but CBS will ask for who can. Gotcha. So, mm. new people, you're out. Like, you're looking at all these tapes. You're doing all this stuff, you know. But, yeah, you have to still vet them because some of them haven't played in a long time. And so they still have to pass background and they still have to do all that stuff. But maybe things have changed in their life, you know, since they did it the first time. But, mm-hmm. um, no, it's a lot harder to cast a new season. Because you mean yeah. you went from like a psychopath to a yoga guru? <laughs> yeah, I mean, or the reverse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's more the reverse that you worry about. Yeah. <laughs> the Global Summer Adventure. There it was. I forgot the name. It was the Global Summer Adventure. It was the first name for the Amazing Race. Oh, really? I'm glad they changed it because that yeah. was that's that's a terrible. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just going through chat to get some messages for you. Are you excited for a race to the center of the earth this year on National Geographic? Do you watch reality shows, much reality shows, or are you I just like lots. over it? No, I watch lots of reality shows. Um, I like them. And then I want to see how the casting's going and, you know, what the trend is and all this. Um, so I watched most of them, but I, I don't know that one. Um, I loved, loved, loved the world's toughest race, uh, Eco Challenge Fiji. I I did too. Oh yeah, that was fabulous. That was so intense. Oh my gosh, it was done so well. <laughs> and the teams, like, I mean, that's such a huge undertaking, and they killed them. And yeah, the teams had really good story and heart, and mm-hmm. you know, that it was not just watching people climb things. You know, I mean, they did a really good job of making it super interesting and entertaining. And, and the it's it's one of the few shows where the winner is like in episode eight and they still have like three episodes after like the team that won, you know, like normally you win and that's it. This one's like the winners, but it's like, will this team finish? Will they get there? There was such like me and my wife sat there and cried a few times from like the stories that people have, you know, the, the guy with Alzheimer's like, oh, my God, how like. You know, he can go and watch this again and not remember any of it, not even know that that was like him going through all of this. And like, oh, my God, his team that's been with him for years, like, oh, it hurts the soul. Put him on the recap then. Huh? We should put him on the recap. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember I, this? <sighs> such a dick, Joey. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> the the beauty the beauty of that of that show though was that it really tapped into the emotional aspect of us as 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 humans individuals like there was some way that we could relate whether we knew someone with Alzheimer's or we knew people who you know did these equal challenges or we always wanted to do something to kind of push the limits and we were afraid to but yet we see these people out here doing it and you know they brought in that like all African American team from the U S and it's like you know this very intense time race relations in the United States. Like it was the perfect timing for that with all of us being home and, you know, wanting to see something adventurous. And so they did a very good job. I, I have, I know nothing about casting clearly. I'm an ice cream scientist, but I wish, I wish race in various ways filmed like that, not just in terms of getting to know us more, getting to know the emotional side of people which is why I think that Big Brother and Survivor tend to have even higher viewership is because you really get to know the people. Like 
people don't know who we are outside of like, oh, the green team. Oh, like Joey's with, you know, matched up with this random lady. And it's like, oh, these are the candy girls. You know what I mean? So they did a really, really, really good job with that. So. Yeah. Uh, and with so many contestants because they're teams of five. Yes. 70 teams of five. I don't know how they did that. I know. And they still really got a lot of great storyline in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And international on top of that. Exactly. Yes. How how long did it take to film that? Do you guys think? I mean, it's a race. Yeah, I think it was eleven days. Yeah, plus, yeah, it's it's Jeez. so it's eleven days plus. I'm sure they have a couple weeks on the front end and make sure everybody's got all their equipment and ready to go. And I love Bear Grylls too. I I, I could watch him do anything. I've seen every one yeah. of his shows. Like that dude is a monster. He's so intense. He's a monster. And I know a couple people gave him shit because uh, there was like a couple episodes where he was supposed to sleep in a, uh, a jungle and he slept in a hotel. I'm like, do you realize what this dude has done? He's set world records for the type of shit that he's gone through. Like, right. don't, don't, like he's faking it. Like, dude, he was in the French yeah. Foreign <laughs> Legion. Like, he, he, he climbed sleep, Everest. Like, sleeping in luxury. <laughs> Did you see the episode where the, 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 the beast thing? I'm sorry. I saw the beast thing. I didn't hear what you said, Jody. I said he's earned the right to sleep in a hotel if he wants to sleep in a hotel. Oh, uh, yes. And yeah. executives usually can do that. Yeah, he's like at that point of his career. Like I've done, I've gone through the shit. Like literally crawled through poop in the French Foreign Legion one that I watched. Like he's done that. Like yeah. he, he's eaten like. He's taken cow, uh, elephant poop and squeezed it through a thing and drank the damn water from Like, I've seen him do that. Like, he's done all the nastiness. Like, he's a monster. I have so much respect for him. But um, <laughs> uh, is there anything in the works that you could uh, kind of sneak us, sneak us a peek us, uh, let us know about stuff that you're working on that, that may be coming out soon? Mm, you know, I can't. No. I know there's a lot of NDAs. I don't want you. I don't want you to get in trouble. But. You know, no. <laughs> you, you can't do that. That's like that. <laughs> Not, hey, I, I gotta ask. Sometimes you can. Sometimes it's like this. This is a this show is about to be launched, and we can talk about it soon, or you know. Right. So there, if, are, there are some great shows that people like that are coming back for seasons two and three. So um, that's good. I mean, they haven't when they announce it, then you'll know. But there are some good ones. Too, so that's exciting. So. Uh, and do you do you think that people are 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 company are networks or tape are sorry production companies networks all of that are they taping during COVID time now like are people kind of adjusted to that or well they're starting to they're starting okay. to where, and it's crazy because everybody just gets in lockdown like you, if, I don't know if you've seen Love Island but like they've got everybody yeah. in Vegas in a hotel and they're locked down every crew member they've got they usually have different zone colors. So only people in these, this zone color can interact with these people. And these people can only mm. interact with got people on different floors to keep everybody, like, COVID-free. They're testing, but they're pretty much only in that hotel, not leaving. Wow. wow. How many? So, some shows that can do that, can do the lockdown, they can film. But other ones, are, I think they're still kind of filling it out a little bit or just keeping, like, really individually separate. How many people are involved in uh, the production for Amazing Race and the same for Survivor? Um, Tens? Uh, hundreds? No. So for Survivor, I know, what was it, um, 400 people from 20 different countries, I think. Oh, cow. The cast for Amazing Race is giant because you get yeah in every country. So there's locals to do all of the different things that you have to do when you're there. I mean, you've got all, you know, yeah. different things that they set up, and then they use locals as much as they can in different places. So the, the Amazing Race crew is giant. Which is, which is one reason why if you, if like me, you watch the other season, other countries, Amazing Races, you'll see like the same tasks because those people are the same crew that work with the amazing race here they work amazing race in other countries so it's mm-hmm. kind of interesting to see some of those things the crossovers like you know the nerd super fans like me are like oh my god that's the same guy that was at the mat at the other one it's like so dude. but uh we love <laughs> i love all that stuff um do you the camera guys and the sound guys that can work on shows like amazing race like i mean they're working on world toughest race they're working you know they work on these things that are hard because to be able to keep up and carry all that equipment, you have to be like mm-hmm. an athlete. 
athletes. Yeah, right? they're the best in the business, hands down. I've never seen people like that. I'm I'm breaking a sweat with just this little pack, and then there's the dude with the eighty pounds of batteries and running with the light, and, like with the sound, like you know, right? like, the, the guy with the cameras and they're running it, and they're trying to get in front right? of you so they can get other shots. It's like you got to run faster. It's absolutely incredible, and. Trying to get them on the show is always so tough because they are always booked. They are always busy unless they want unless they want free time. It seems like they they can get jobs anytime they want them because of that experience. Yeah, right. They probably had some time off during COVID because those types of shows couldn't film, and mm-hmm. that's probably the first you know like groups of time they've had off in a really long time. Yeah, like I reached out to Sarah who worked on our show and she's like, I'm going to the Moab for three months to film. I'm like, what? what? You're so cool. Like every time I talk to her, she's in some other country <laughs> filming something. I love that type of stuff. All right. We're, I don't want to keep you for too long. What else do you want to tell the people? Let's uh, the, give them the, I'll put the link in the chat, but talk about it one more time and let people know what it is that you're doing. Link is in chat, castingreality.net. Hey, I mean, basically, if you want to apply to a show, um, whatever show that might be and wherever you are in the process, I can just kind of help you figure out what it is in your life that's going to make you stand out. Like what kind of things you should include, what kind of things are not helping you at all. Um, if your energy level needs to be higher, I'm not going to change your personality. I'm not going to tell you to be something that you're not because you're going to get caught. Like you can't get away with it, right? Mm-hmm. And not everybody is made for television, you know, and you might right. be better for certain shows than other shows. But I can guarantee for something that you really want, you will have the best video possible in that process. And then you'll know at least you gave it. And I'm looking at your website awesome. and it's well worth the money. Like if if, if putting this amount of money that costs less than a, a, any kind of cell phone that you're going to get, like can change your life, you know, like, you know, going on Amazing Race changed my life. Like going on shows like Big Brother, yeah, you're gonna change your life just because you'll get fifty thousand social media followers, and then boom, you have a career just because you have that many followers. <laughs> you'll get like five hundred from the Amazing Race. You're not gonna get that many from the Amazing Race. Big Brother, you'll get like fifty thousand. Survivor, twenty five to fifty, depending on your personality. And if you're really, really popular on Big Brother, you can get a hundred thousands and more. Like that's the that's the type of change just from social media that you'll get. But you have direct links on your website for people to apply to all types of shows is that something you're going to keep up with like all the newer shows that come out yeah, so I'll, yeah i'll try to do that because sometimes people just don't know how to do it and serious very yeah go to their, you know website or just click on the link that's on my website if you want to apply there and you'll just have to pay attention because they're not all casting all the time right you have to like click, you know see when they're casting and you just some of them mm-hmm. require a tape some of them it, it depends you know, they don't all have the exact same process. That's why there's kind of like Skype stuff on there too, because if you're going to go straight to a Skype call, some people don't know how to set up Skype. And right. They don't know the mm-hmm. And they don't know what to wear. And, or they put like a blue screen behind them. And then it looks really cool. <laughs> you're fine. I was like, this is white. It's just a blue light. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, <laughs> thing is people put like a, you know, they'll just have like their, you know, it's, some places they're very white and it's yeah. very well background. Or you're like Joey, you, yeah. you sit with a window behind you, which is the worst thing you could do. <laughs> where, but at least it's and nighttime. It's dark, so it's okay. Yeah. If it was light, then it would just make his face dark. Yeah, it would just be like <laughs> all the yeah. lights back here. He's like, Can you see me? No, we can't see you because the light's behind you, Joey. <laughs> I'm in the Nantucket room. <laughs> the Nantucket room. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, so de- it's a beautiful ceiling. I, I definitely, yeah. definitely love the ceiling. Whatever. Just so, don't put it on TV. Right? So definitely check out a ca- castingreality.net if you're interested in any uh, reality shows at all. Jody will help you. She is a professional doing it for over uh, 20-something seasons of, of television, and she's she was a contestant as well. And she's awesome, as you can see. She's very honest, and she'll help you out. So please, please go check her out. Uh, I'll, I will include her social media stuff in the com, um, whatever the description down below, so you can click all that as well. If you're watching this later, if you're watching this later, leave a comment and then go to castingreality.net and check it out. I am going to actually look through a couple of these shows. I think I'm going to apply for the circle. Um, I Are wanna, you really? I think so. Yeah. I actually sent awesome. my first uh, first. Of tape since Amazing Race uh, to Survivor this year because I wanted to play. Did you sign up for Race to the Center of the Earth? No. 
I did not. What, what is that? That's uh, Bertram's newest thing. It's, yeah. uh, it's five or six teams of three, mm-hmm. and they all start at different points on the globe, and they all race to oh, like, interesting. a buoy in the middle of the ocean, and there's a million dollars there. Well, when does it air? I, I think it's supposed to be at the spot, right? I'll oh. tell you right now. Like, you know, I didn't because it's Bertram. Like, if Bertram wants somebody who's going to, like, he like me, you, he'll cast me. Like, he'll call me. Like, you know my personality. He doesn't personal. really like you, though. No, he doesn't. Because, you know, I don't make for good television because I just fucking dominate. And nobody wants to yeah, see the yeah, same yeah, person dominate all year. Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, they hate my season because... I make it look so easy. They fight, they say my cast. No, 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 no. The no, rest of the cast sucks because it was just uh, they were just there because <laughs> that's the only reason I was good is because the rest of the cast wasn't good. It's like yeah. go fuck yourself. <laughs> you put me on any season, I would dominate. Doesn't matter who who's next to me. Like there's we no. Less, we would have done the same thing to you. We would have did the Seth Tyler or just you turned you. You have to get there first. You forget, I got there first. There was three U turn boards. Who got to all three first? Oh, <laughs> Me and Maya would have killed you. But Joey, There's I no... mean, sorry, Justin. What? It's not about the race always. Like, is it? You gotta, you got you got you gotta win. You gotta win it too. Like, I, I get the domination. No, listen, yeah. I get it. You know, you know, like you won the you race. Know. You won. I get it. Did, but you know, there's did, thirty, there's thirty two teams that have won the race. I mean, there's only and you were yeah. there there's only two teams that have done what I've done. So and there's yeah. nobody who's actually there's nobody who's actually done what we did. Like five in a row, nobody's done that. Like you know what? I remember Maya winning the Amazing Race. I don't remember you breaking all these silly records. Yeah, but you don't oh, even you don't even know what Reddit yeah. is. So like, just stop. <laughs> like, so <laughs> true, true, Justin. Sorry, Joey. I mean, so yeah. Like you don't know what Reddit is, and you were on a show. Oh, I have a real, I have a real question. I have a real question. Go I have for a real it. question for Jody. Jody, did you ever like see yourself getting into this world of like dominating reality television the way you are, of, like casting and all of that? Like, did you ever see yourself into that in this world? No, oh, I really didn't have any clue. Um, I just did Amazing Race afterwards. When yeah. Asked to um cast for her like and it was a temporary two-week thing and so in the oh interesting there were 10 people that i met and she goes oh my gosh these people are great like where'd you find them and i'd be like oh well i got met hated on the plane i met this guy in the gym i met that guy you know whatever you know this girl was standing behind me at walmart you know whatever and then she, <laughs> was, she was like well do you want to keep doing this i'm like sure and so i was still a flight attendant i was doing it part-time yeah and then it went from part time to like full time to Survivor and Amazing Race to traveling with both and casting both. Um, so it just kept going and going until it just like took my entire year. And then I just you know, that's I kept awesome because I really love the benefits. But so I kept mm-hmm. it kind of on the back burner. I'm still technically a flight attendant, but um, yeah. And then I just kept going with this. And then you know with COVID, it just kind of brought this whole different option. And I've kind of missed, like, from being on a show and knowing what that feels like, trying to get there and waiting out the phone calls and how long it takes. Mm -hmm. Like, I've missed being able to talk to the people and help the people because you really don't Mm. have to help them when you're working for the show. You're just going through and picking what you see. Ah, that's so true. Yeah. And and there's been so, I've been so thrilled. Like, there have been some people, there's actually some reviews on my site of people I've worked with since I started. Seven weeks ago, or six weeks ago, or oh, already, and, yeah. <laughs> I'd, have them, I'd have them hidden, like their names are hidden. But like, I they it's super rewarding to show like they can see the sh- the tape that they sent me, and then where we ended up when we were done. That's you cool. Know? That's awesome. Or just talking to them, they're like, "Oh my god, I had no idea. I was doing so many things. Mm-hmm. Or, um, I had no idea they'd want to know about that." I'm like, they do that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had my first audition tape. The first tape I ever sent in was for Survivor, and I was sat around a table playing poker as as eight different characters. And I just went around talking about myself, like talking about Justin. And I was dressed in all different costumes. I'm like, oh, that Justin character, he's shady. He's always trying, whatever. And I would do different voices and stuff. I wish I still had that. I was like, how the hell did I not get on? That was edited great. It was beautiful. <laughs> it was on VHS tape, sent it in. But then it was like, I was just being like, you know, if I would have just no been acting. me. No acting. No yeah. Acting. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, things like that. No. Yeah. 
I, I watched my, I watched Amy and I, um, our tape from, cause we did an open call and then we did a, the tape and I watched it and I was like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're eating ice cream the whole entire time. I'm not lying. Like, we're literally eating ice cream. <laughs> Makes sense though. <laughs> and we're talking, like we have like, um, the structure, like the molecular structure of, um, uh, sugar, the molecular structure of sugar. Like we're like so nerdy. I have on a periodic table shirt. Like it's just so hilarious. <laughs> and I was like, how in the world did we get casted? But that sounds like a good, it, that we were different. Day, from what I can tell. Huh? That sounds like a good audition date. I, I mean, I get, we didn't know what we were doing. Like we literally like, we shot it in one shot. We were eating ice cream. We went to my apartment and edited it and sent it in <laughs> because we were told it had to be in by a certain date. So, I mean, we're not, we're scientists. Like, we did not know what we were doing. We were just having fun eating ice cream and talking about how cool it is to be a food scientist. Follow Maya on Instagram because oh, she, yeah. she does Instagram. ice cream Sundays. <laughs> And even if you don't want to make the ice cream with her, it's like 30 to 45 minutes of pure happiness. I, I don't know how you could keep that up for 35, 40 minutes. She's literally in her kitchen dancing and singing and smiling and making ice cream for 35, 40 minutes every Sunday before our show. So I would highly suggest you go to Maya.Warren on Thank Instagram. You, she uh, she is a delight. Uh, I recently, and I, I definitely suggest this to everybody, purge your social media. I recently uh, unfollowed over a thousand people on Instagram and three thousand people on Twitter, and I want to get rid of four thousand people on Facebook, um, which is my next one. So a thousand people on Instagram, three thousand people on Twitter, and I have never been happier on social media. There's like no political posts. It's just people talking about reality yeah. TV shows, people talking about Twitch and streaming and things like that, and. It is the best thing that I've done in the past couple months. And now that you have the time, just do it. There's apps that I, I deleted everybody from Twitter. There was no followers. And then I just went and I was like, I want to follow this person. I want to follow this person. Go back and do that again. Purge out the shit in your life. And I highly suggest Facebook's the hardest one for me to do. Um, yeah. But like I said, I have uh, 4,500 friends. Um, and I want to get rid of, you know, 4,000 <laughs> 4, of them, you know, so I could just have like the people that I want to talk to. Um, and I would highly suggest that for all of you. Uh, Joey, do you know how to use social wow. media? I have social media. <laughs> <laughs> what, which social media do you use? MySpace? What else? I have, I have a face table. <laughs> face table. Uh, AOL. <laughs> <laughs> I got punted. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's maya check her out ice cream sundays joey is there anything you want to want people you. to check out uh no is, <laughs> look out for his links so you could support him for give kids of the world you yes. could raise some money for a great cause uh jody definitely i really appreciate you coming on castingreality.net you are a legend i appreciate you so much i'm sorry i took over an hour of your time but i do appreciate it all good. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And every one of you watching, thank you so much. Time is the most important thing you have, and to spend any of it with me means so much. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. It truly, truly means a lot. I love talking about The Amazing Race. It's it's, it's my favorite show oh, ever. Justin, yeah. our super guest for next week, I kind of gave away in the shower, so we have to help you. Are you. There's a guest for next week? <laughs> we have a huge guest. Jario? Oh, Garcia. That that's our guest? No, that's not our guest. I just show up. Yeah. Jody, it was really good to see you though. I haven't seen you in years. Really good to see you. I will be sending people your way. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh I, I think we'll have we'll have one of the behind the scenes people from the Amazing Race. I'm I got three people with maybes. We'll see how that goes. That's what I was referring to. No, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Take care, guys. Enjoy your